Hello, I'm Dr. McKee with the Price Vision Group, and I'm going to explain to you today some of the surgeries that we do at Price Vision Group, and chiefly what I'll talk about now is how to fix a lens inside the eye when the normal support structure is not present. If we look at this model of the eye, the normal cataract surgery involves the surgeon making a small incision right along the edge of the white clear border. The clear part is called the cornea and the white is called the sclera. And I'll open this model up so you can get a picture of what's going on inside the eye. Now the retina is represented by this thin film right here and that's what allows you to see. But you need to focus light in the retina and you do that with the cornea up here and the lens back here. Now when the lens becomes cloudy that's called a cataract. And normally the lens has some support structure around it and we refer to this as the capsule. In the lack of capsular support it's very difficult to place an artificial lens where the cataract usually sat. In the absence of a lens behind the iris what can happen is very high refractive errors. In other words, you'll have very, very thick glasses after surgery. So in modern cataract surgery, an artificial lens will go inside the capsule after the cataract is removed. But in the, in the circumstance where there's no capsule present, then the surgeon will have a great degree of difficulty in putting a lens into the eye. Now previous options did include placing a lens in front of the iris. However, that lens could damage the cornea and cause it to become cloudy over many years. So this is not an ideal option. The best option would be to place the lens behind the iris. Previously, what we would do is suture the lens to the sclera on either side, and that would support the lens fine. But what are the drawbacks there? First of all, those lenses were rigid. They required a large incision on the front of the eye. Second of all, the sutures slowly degrade over time. And when they degrade, that lens could fall into the vitreous cavity and land on the retina. This could lead to problems with damage to the retina or even a retinal detachment. The new technique we're using now is something called a glued IOL. And this is basically taking a lens that would normally go in the posterior chamber and using the soft, flexible arms called haptics and sticking the haptics into the white part or the sclera of the eye. We do this by making a small incision on the white part and raise a small flap and then make a tunnel inside the sclera. We'll pull the haptics or the small plastic arms of the lens through the white part of the eye and tuck them into the tunnel. And using a fibrin glue, we'll close the flap on top of the sclera and then close the membranes around the eye called conjunctiva. This results in a very stable, secure, and well-positioned lens where it should be, even if the capsule is not in place. And the best part is there's no large incisions. Everything is done through the same size incision that a cataract surgery would be done in. So, what was a significant problem in the past is now solved with a relatively simple surgery as compared to what used to be done. And we're trying now to teach other surgeons this technique so that patients won't have to have anterior chamber lenses placed or sutured lenses placed in the posterior chamber. And a number of patients who've had this done have talked about how stable their vision is, how good their vision is, and how fast their healing was. And as surgeons, we certainly recognize this. Many of the patients who've had a glued IOL will be completely healed within three or four weeks. If you have to have a regular sutured IOL, then it may actually take many months before the vision stabilizes and you have complete healing. And even then, there may be some residual problems. As I mentioned, the lens may fall after many years. And also, the eye is distorted because of the large incision. So there's many advantages to the glued IOL. And this is the only technique I use now to secure a lens when the normal capsule is not available because it's just so much better than the other options.